in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i go from this to this or how i go from this to this using lightroom presets basically i'll be showing you guys how i do all of this you will agree with me that it's becoming a trend or it's a trend already you know seeing visual pleasing content seeing visual pleasing feeds on instagram page you're seeing all the colors popping up you're seeing feed looking so beautiful so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to edit your pictures using lightroom so but before we continue if you haven't subscribed to my channel by now click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out from any future content coming up your way and also give this video a thumbs up yeah we like it but this shit's fantastic for the ages feels like it's magic hear the clock been haunting my dreams it's been ticking for hours ticking yeah. for hours yeah, I feel so old. Waste no time gotta wait in line in the weather's so cold hey guys guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl leila moon if you're a new subscriber or you're just seeing my face for the very first time my name is Audi leila leila moon and if you're a return subscriber thank you so much once again you're all welcome back to my channel my previous video i shared eight tips you can use in growing your instagram page and one of these tips include having visual pleasing content i'll be dropping the link down below so you can check this uh, content out so you learn how to grow your instagram page adopting these eight tips i shared with you guys i cannot emphasize enough the importance of having visual pleasing content i mean the first thing i look at when i visit anyone's page i look at your feed aesthetics i look at your content i see if they are visual pleasing if they are visual pleasing then i hit the follow button so but in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to edit your pictures using lightroom my picture go through four editing apps before i deem it fit to be posted on my social media page but today i'll be sharing with you guys like my ultimate favorite apps it's i call it my all-in-all -all app this app is capable to do everything it color grades it removes shadows it brightens exposure this app does a lot and it's called lightroom so if you don't have this app or you do uh today is a good day because i'll be sharing with you guys how to use lightroom and also you can save this preset so you can use uh, this preset on your subsequent post the beautiful thing about these apps is that it's totally free so you can download this app from your apple store or your chrome or any downloading site download these apps then registration is totally free all you have to do is sign in create account how do you create account you do this by you know entering your email account so i haven't done that let's get right into it i'll be going straight to my lightroom app now so this is my lightroom app it's opened so um you see you can actually see a lot of pictures here then you click on this plus sign this plus sign my pictures are on my camera roll, i think we will be editing this particular picture so all i just did was i tapped on the picture and boom it's straight to my lightroom app so first of all this is selective healing you don't really need all of this what i do first i go to my light this is exposure this is what exposure do to you. you can brighten your picture or you can darken your picture this is what exposure do to you this is contrast so my exposure let's see 50 uh okay yes 50 is okay if it's too much it, too, it won't be pleasing to the eyes so i'm just going to leave it at 50 i'll leave my exposure at 50. and the next thing i will be doing is my contrast so my contrast i want my contrast no i don't want it too deep so i'm going to be leaving my contrast on minus 51 minus 51 guys so and the next thing here my shadows let me see no my highlight uh my highlight i would love my highlight to be a little bit calm so i'm going to leave it at minus 31 then my shadows i can see a lot of shadows and i want to get rid of them so i'm just going to increase my shadows to the maximum guys this is before and this is after before after you can see there's there's changes already so we're going over to the white now i'm going to leave my white at let's see so i'm going to leave it at minus 94 then my blacks do i want to increase no so i'm going to leave my black at plus five guys this is before this is after guys can you see this 
before after you can see there's changes already so um the next thing we'll be doing now is we'll be going to uh colors so my color now i want to have this um calm sunny orange and teal vibe to this picture so this is what i'll be doing to this picture let's go to my uh to my color now so my temperature i'm just going to increase my temperature to let me see 18 okay 18 is cool then my tint i'm going to be leaving my tint at no i don't want to go but if i go back it's going to give it this greeny feel and i don't want the greeny feel so i'm going to increase a little bit to 24 this numbers are subject to changes later if you feel okay you need to increase or reduce um, certain parts then uh, my vibrance i'm going to leave my vibrance at plus 50 then my saturation no i'm going to leave my saturation to plus five we are getting there guys guys before after are you guys seeing the changes already like we're not done yet but it's so beautiful like look at the this is the before and this is the after you can see there is tremendous change going on right now so uh, the next thing i'll be doing is i would like to color grade my picture so i'll be going to um my um color now my color mix so let's play with the red uh is there red in this picture nope so i'll just play with it a little bit just a little bit i'll leave my red at uh the hero i'll leave it at plus three and i'll leave my uh um saturation at minus 14 oh no no let me take it back okay yeah, let me leave it at plus three i'll leave my red at plus 10 let me see what plus 10 is going to give me plus 10 okay i think i like it plus 10 then my um lub luminance i'll leave it at plus three as well guys before after then we're going over to this orange brownish um looking color so let's see what we do to this i'm going to reduce my hue to minus one then i'll leave my saturation to minus 14 as well then my um my lub luminance to plus 26. one thing about editing is you have to play around the apps you just have to play around it to be able to achieve or to get the preset you want so it's not like it's a perfect it's a try and error thing till you get what you want so you need to keep playing with the apps to you know achieve that nice looking uh, feed you desire so um, we're going over to the yellow the yellow color right now so i'm going to leave my yellow at minus 100 minus 100 then i'm going to leave uh the saturation to plus 100 let's see this then i'll leave my luminance guys this is before this is after can you see before after changes already guys i'm excited but this is something i really love to do so i'm excited whenever i did so i'll go over to my green i'm going to leave my green hue at plus 21 let's see what 21 is going to give me uh, no okay plus 21 is fine then i will leave my um my saturation at let me see no this will be nice plus 76 six and my luminous at minus nine minus nine guys before after then we are going over to this blue i don't know what this blue is called but i call it turquoise blue i don't know if i'm calling it right but i call it turquoise blue so let's get over to this place um because i'm seeing i'm wearing a blue shirt and the the kenu or yeah i think there's a trace of blue here so i'm going to be working on my blue to achieve this maximum bluish effect so this is it i will leave my turquoise hue at 52 then the saturation at plus 78 plus 78 then luminous zero then over to the main blue because i'm wearing a blue shirt so let's see how we can play with this so i'm going to leave this blue at minus 57 and um guys are you following minus 57 then i will leave uh my saturation at plus 85 85 great then i will leave uh the luminous at minus 21 guys before after it's not magic guys before are you saying this after so guys let's go over to purple i'm not really wearing any purple stuff but let me just play with it i'll leave this here because if i play with this it's going to be pinkish too much i'm just going to leave it here then i'll come over to my saturation i'll leave it at plus 70 then i'll just leave this i'm not wearing the purple shade so let me just leave it there my pink as well i have trace of pink here so let me just work on the saturation pink i'll leave it at plus uh, 70 and and that's all for the color grading i click done then i come over to effects here 
so this is what i'll do with my effect so my texture i'll leave it at zero clarity this is what clarity do to you so you don't want to look like that so i'm just going to leave my clarity at plus 21 plus 21 my da is at plus 17 this da has power to do a lot look at what's happening to my feet this is uh minus this is plus so i'm just going to play with it a little bit and leave it at plus 17 guys you need to be careful whenever you are using these even any app that you see saturation vibrance you just need to be careful they have the power to mess up your work and they have the power to also fix your work so um my effect yeah the, we are done with this my thickness i will just leave it at 14. i really don't see the need for this but i'll just leave it at 14. then uh my midpoint i'll leave this at 16 and my feathers at 90 before after guys roundness i'll leave my roundness at 80 plus 18 okay cool then my highlights i don't want it to be too wide so i'm just going to leave it there so guys we're done with effect i'm going over to details right now so my details i'll be playing with my sharpening which is like key to me i'll be playing with the sharpening effect i'll be playing with the sharpening effect i'll be playing with uh the detail noise reduction so the sharpening effect will make your picture we give your picture this crispy look sort of so i'm going to sharpen my picture so if your picture is uh, blurry so this is where you do all the magic where your pictures becomes sharp and red so yeah let's go over to my um my detail so my sharpening effect i'm going to leave it at 32 I, only, I don't know why but i always leave my sharpening effect at 32 i don't know why 32 my details to 30 32 so i don't go past these numbers so because if it's too sharp it's going to be unpleasant to decide so i just like it mild then my uh, radius i'm going to leave it at 1.0 let me just leave it there then details i'll leave my details at 31 then my noise reduction I'm going to leave it at 49 and guys the funny thing is if you learn how to or if you know how to edit pictures if you can learn how to edit outdoor pictures editing indoor picture will be baby food like it to be so easy because outdoor pictures a lot of factors affect outdoor pictures e.g the temperature the background colors the weather um the environment the environment colors a lot of things affect outdoor pictures so if you can learn how to edit outdoor pictures inside picture is baby food so let's let's just continue so um where are we we're in noise reduction i'm going to leave my noise reduction at 49 then my uh, details at 31 uh, my color noise i'm going to leave my color noise at 17 details i'm going to leave it at 50 i'll leave it there um smoothness i'll still leave it at 50. so guys this is before and this is after then you click your ok sign on your right top you click your ok sign guys this is the before of this picture i took this picture in atlantis like it was so sunny and so windy and like i, I could barely even open my eyes if you look at this picture closely, closely i could barely even open my eyes everything was just funny and let me teach you how to save presets so you can apply it to your subsequent uh, pictures so you come to this up right here where this cycle with three dots inside you click on it you click uh copy settings click ok then you come back there click there then you create preset then you can just come here name let's just um, i'll name the preset g g g g g g okay so let me save this picture so you come to this middle button then export to file your picture is saved already this is how to edit your pictures using lightroom you can play with all the apps all the tools there so you know uh, which works for you you don't have to even you know use this orange and teal preset but if you want to why not you can just you know save all the numbers down then apply it to your pictures if it's not coming up the way you want then you can adjust reduce adjust reduce till you know you have what you want so but before they have to have a concept at heart like what do i want from this picture how do i want this picture to look like before you go about you know editing your pictures now how do you apply this preset to a new picture let me show you how you come to this plus sign here select your pictures i'll be making use of this picture then all i'll just do i'll go to my preset and gggh that's what i use in saving it then i click ok guys look at it so all i'll just do now is i'll make some adjustment then you click your ok sign that's all about lightroom it's one of my key 
most important apps I use in editing my pictures. Like I said earlier on, my pictures go through four editing apps before I deem it fit to post. So let me know in the comment section of this video if this video was helpful and what you would love me to make videos on next. You can catch up with me on Instagram at Leila Moon. Until then guys, bye!